We're at the Amoquan Preserve, uh, just uh, by the Illinois River near Havana and Lewiston, Illinois. And uh, more specifically, the building you're looking at is the field station. It was, uh, when it was christened, it was the Emaquan Field Station, as you can probably see in the sign, but now it's the Thurkelson Field Station at Emaquan. Part of that endowment uh, allows us to uh, have funds that can be spent on, on students and on instrumentation. So we decided to put that into scholarships to uh, help students jumpstart their work and continue work going on at Emaquan. Without any sort of money or scholarship, none of this would be available. And it's a great hands-on learning opportunity for students such as myself in an undergraduate as well as graduate degree programs. It was vital to my research. I would not have been able to work on my project or even have the possibility of completing it, I feel, without the funding from Mr. Thurkeldson or the Thurkeldson grant. Um, you know, science is a lot of fun, but it's very expensive. A lot of my reagents for DNA sequencing cost quite a bit of money. Funding is important because uh, it allows the students to immerse themselves in study, in their work, and not worry about extra jobs and things. They, they, they can be scholars as opposed to people who work at the local hamburger joint and then try to do science on the side. Uh, you probably wouldn't want your physicians uh, doing that. You want them to be very focused and it's the same kind of thing in natural sciences. I think it's very important since we're students I and mean, given the fact that we're always broke. This is very unique to UIS. Um, I don't know many other universities that have a field station that will give you hands-on training in the field to show you um, <laughs> how to put contraptions like this into the water and get analysis out of it. You know, I feel like a lot of people, you know, have this perception of, you know, either Indiana Jones or, you know, we're in wet lab coats, but here at UIS we've kind of got a mix of both. You know, you get to go out and do that field work and experience what it's like to be out and on the boats and in the water and out in the field, but then you also get that neat experience back in the lab where you know you have to analyze the data yourself. And so you get that good combination of both to ultimately make you an all-around scientist. My personal research is looking at the water quality of, of Thompson Lake uh, as a, a basically a lake being put onto a cornfield after 80 years of agriculture. There's a lot of changes and I, I want to monitor that. You're looking at a uh, part of a floodplain system that this is a, a very large uh, restoration program, not the largest, but certainly right up there. And um, I think what's unique about it is its relationship to the river and it's becoming reestablished. And sometime in the future, it's actually going to be um, connected to the river. And that I think will probably be the first large scale connected floodplain system that's been restored. That will be unique because it can be used as a blueprint for other places up and down the Mississippi and the Illinois. And um, that's really reconnecting a, a vital part of, um, of the ecosystem that has a lot of services to people. So it's, uh, it's an incredibly important project. So that, that, I think, is unique and exciting. For students who have an opportunity of having a wetland and seeing how it's being restored and how it changed throughout history, it just gives us a little insight into how nature works. Work that goes on here also includes people who look at the, the bugs and the invertebrates. Um, we've had people out here uh, looking at food web studies and um, then we've had technicians that stay here that study, the, you know, they radio collar ducks, they do all kinds of things that, uh, of the different people that uh, use the station. We put the stakes in the ground about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, left them in for a 12 hour period and then um, would check them, pull, pull the big stakes out and pull, pull the bottles off. These three bottles would go into um, one container. These three would go into one container. Those three would go into one container. Put jars back on and throw back in the water. And um, then 12 hours later, again at nine o'clock in the morning, pull it out, do it again. But at that time, we'd go ahead and take the stakes out of the water too. What we're looking at is coronamids, and we're trying to isolate one specific spot of the DNA. You um, take the coronamid, which is this thing, and chop off the back end, and you grind it up and put it in a 
thermocycler, which amplifies the DNA you're looking for. So it just makes a lot more of it. And then we clean this DNA and we sequence it. And ultimately, um, we have a sequencer at UIS and we can look at this specific region of DNA and we can say, oh, this is probably this species, you know, based on this DNA. And we get a big group of species together and we can look for spots that are the same and spots that are different among other species. Well, I worked on methane emissions at Emaquan and Spunky Bottoms. Spunky Bottoms is another wetland along the Illinois River and it's a little bit smaller than Emaquan, but it's also going through the same process of restoration as Emaquan. And I was comparing how methane emissions would vary because of the difference in restoration age since uh, Spunky Bottoms started their restoration 10 years before Emaquan. Classroom learning is, is important and, and, and we, we need that, but the, the balance is, is, is to experience things. Uh, I made the reference to physicians uh, before. You you would not really want someone doing surgery on you who probably hadn't uh, worked on to some capacity doing dissections. Um, it's different than looking at in a in a book. The same kind of here. Field biologists, restoration ecologists, even people who are developing policy, um, pick up a different experience when you're interacting with the the, the land, the air, the the, the wildlife than uh, what you get watching TV or reading a textbook. It's, it's plain and simple. When you're out there, you see all these interactions and there's so many other elements. There's the water and the animals and the plants and you have to figure out how to set up everything. So it, it, was, it was a good experience and I learned a lot. I think it'll be great experience. Um, it'll look great on a resume um, to show that you've already been in the field doing your own research, taking responsibility for things that um, you do, um, along with a great learning opportunity and showing that you are ready to go. I'm kind of looking into PhD programs. Um, I really like the idea of wildlife biology. You know, I understand the importance of lab work clearly through my project, but I would eventually, you know, I, I'd like a good balance. So I'd like to maybe go and get my PhD, maybe teach. You know, the teachers here at UIS have kind of inspired me to want to teach. And it, you see that when you have grads, programs at a university, you're able to go out and do all sorts of different projects with different students and you know, you're learning from students and students are learning from you and it's kind of a neat atmosphere. Funding in general is, is important. I mean, um, simply put, if we have more funding, we can track more things and you, know, you might say, well, how much is enough? Well, I don't know how much is enough, but we're not close to it. Um, uh, there are a lot of questions that go into restoration in general because you're shooting for a target you know, in the future based on some kind of history in the past. It's been a great experience. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting because in undergrad you don't really get the opportunity to kind of design your own experiment and someone's kind of always holding your hand, but as a grad student you're you're able to troubleshoot your way through problems and you've, if you feel like you've got that knowledge to, to work on your own project and without a lot of help, which is nice.